Hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm here because I'm excited to unbox something. Um, I bought this from the Amazon Prime Day deal and uh, it was a really big discount. It was really a good sale and I couldn't resist it. And on top of it, um, Amazon offered um, five months to pay with no interest. So, guess what's in this box? Let's see, I'm so excited. It's my first time to own something like this. And uh, it's a dream. But um, and now, we'll see. A box. So, uh, basically, Amazon does um, Prime Day deals once a year, I think. So it's my first time to look or to buy something from Amazon Prime Deals. I thought mm, it's the same thing. You know, you can always buy it cheaper another time. But this time, when I saw it, I was like, sure, I need to get this. You know. So apparently, this Prime Deal, I got a few things. But this is the most important one. Yeah. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. I hope this is in a good condition. So it's open now. Let's see. Let me put this down. So you can see it. First up. It's a memory card. It's a Sandix Extreme Pro Micro SDXC card with adapter. It's a memory card, 128 gig memory card. Um, somebody asked me to buy memory cards like this because he owns something like what I bought. And when he asked me to buy it, it's £25.99. But from the Amazon Prime Day, I bought it for £18. So Amazon Prime Day was last Wednesday and Tuesday, Wednesday. I think it's July 13, 14. So I bought this yesterday, no, Tuesday for £18. Guess what? Today is back to £25.99. So that's a really good deal. So I own a 128 gig sand disk memory card. So where will I use it for? Ta -da! What is that? A DJI Mini 2. DJI Mini 2 fly more combo. So and this fly more combo. That's what's in the box. So, why this one? Well, since I was young, I'm into photography. I like photography, you know, but that time when I was in high school, I became a photojournalist. I like taking pictures. Yeah, we have those big covers before and big lenses. So there's no such thing as smartphones yet. And then, when I came here, um, we got to earn, or I got to, I got to have smartphones, you know, not good for photographies. And as time went on, iPhone produced some smartphones, which have very good qualities. I never owned a Samsung. I'm an iPhone fan. So, from iPhone five iphone 4 or even iphone 3 you know i started capturing photos and videos and from those photos and videos i make uh, movies from them so wherever i go um, i capture photos and videos as souvenirs or as um you know remembrance and then make them into a film upload them in YouTube and I have a whole videos or compilation of videos in YouTube. I don't make them public yet 
because I'm not confident enough that they're good. Anyway, you can see the difference between the iPhone 3 photos or videos till now. No, now it's iPhone 13 Pro. Um, iPhone 7 already I'm satisfied and then there's iPhone XS Max which is really good and then you know because we have to you have to renew every two years it's a contract so I didn't get to have iPhone 11 I didn't get to have iPhone 8 I had iPhone 7 iPhone XS Max and iPhone 12 iPhone 12 Pro Max already was satisfying for me was already good but there's iphone 13 pro max which has cinematic videos you know and from those photos and videos that i captured i must say i'm already happy um posting them or making a film out of them or making a video out of them or movies and then um you can watch them every now and then um so in between owning those smartphones to use for photography and um for videos um i tried buying other dji products to use because you know sometimes you just want to keep your phone for calling for communicating so i wanted to have something like only for photography i bought a dji osmo pocket a 4k one you know it has a follow something mode and everything i learned it but um, i used it a few times and in the end i just kept it um treasured it it's a hassle um transferring from the memory card to your phone you know using these adapters and editing it on your phone i said i'll just use my phone since my phone is 4k um, and then I have both the G DJI OM4, wherein you can put your phone there. And it has a gimbal, so it has a smooth transition for videos and everything. It has a lot of things in it. I like it, OM4. But again, I don't like carrying this little stand with like a selfie stick all the time. So again, since I have you have the iPhone 13 Pro Max with cin cinematic mode. So again i kept it and treasured it and it's in its own bag so this time i have this i didn't intend to buy a drone um, my cousin had one the mavic mini the first one it's how old it must be like four years old and i was i like using it but obviously it's his so he captures his parents he captures me there was a time when i managed to get make a very good video of him um but obviously if you don't practice using drones then you tend to forget how to use it um and then he thought of having an upgrade because what came out is dji mavic mini three pro so that was really good but it was expensive it's out of my budget and he's enjoying it so much so i said i'll buy his mavic mini and i'll send it to my daddy so he can enjoy it it's a man's toy it's a big man's toy as they say so you know for children they have airplanes little airplanes or anything a big man or a matured man has drones so his mini will be flying to the Philippines. But again, he said, how can you capture me if you don't have a drone? So I said, I know, but I wanted a mini pro, three pro like yours. I can't afford it. And then in Amazon, I was looking for DJI accessories or DJI products. Again, mini three pro is expensive. I really can't buy that. So I said, maybe a Mini 2? How much is a Mini 2? A Mini 2 Fly More Combo, I think, cost £579, £579. 
so you can have a mini two only with this drone and just this controller and one battery and that's it if you get the flymark combo for extra price for 579 pounds you get the bag two extra batteries the charger hub and the propellers and then suddenly i said i would like that suddenly what came out for the price of 449 pounds you get the fly more combo this one wait a dji care refresh what is a dji care refresh it's like an insurance you know for the phone if you if somebody steals your phone is you drop your phone if you damage your phone you know you pay a certain amount and then they're gonna change it or fix it for you so with DJI Care Refresh, they give you one year Care Refresh. So if it has water damage or you lost your phone, or you lost your drone, or you crashed your drone, drones are very sensitive, especially if they have those gimbals or cameras. So they can easily be damaged. So it's always a good thing to have a Care Refresh. And it's $4.49 cheaper than the real fly more combo 130 pounds cheaper i said again oh it's so expensive and then amazon offered a no interest five months to pay for 89 pounds a month sure why not you now treat myself and this is my hobby you know so i'm an owner of a drone now let's see shall we open it gadgets or technologies mm. that's the other side of me think yeah I don't want to ruin the box so let's see what's inside it's a whole bag oops that's the bag bag that's a fly more combo um without the fly more combo you won't get this bag so. what's inside the bag first so inside pocket all the propellers like screwdriver to put on the propellers oh before I show you the propellers and the buttons, let me show the main things inside the box. First one, I have to be careful. That's the drone. And this time, this drone has its own propeller guard. So, let's see. Let's open it. I have to be careful. I'm scared. That's the propeller guard. That's the drone with all the stickers. Brand new. Uh huh. One sticker removed. Another sticker removed. That's the gimbal, that's the camera, yeah. So Mavic Mini is 2.7K. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, and Mini 2 is 4K already. Ooh, that's the one, scary. I need to put it back. I need to put it back. 
<laughs> Didn't even look at it. Okay, it's in. This is sensitive. How do I know? My cousin dropped his one and it damaged all of it. <laughs> okay. So we have to call the insurance to change it. So I want to be careful with mine. I don't want the hassle or the stress of calling the insurance and paying something, a small amount. Okay. okay, how do you open it? Front first. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And then back first. Back next. So that's my drill. It's 249 grams. Grams. And then Y249. Apparently in other countries or in every country, once your drone is 250 grams and more, you need a license from the government to fly it. So DJI is very clever. They produced a 249 gram drone. It's smaller. It's cute. I like it. It's like a toy, but it can capture beautiful photos and videos. So you don't really need a license, but in my case, I always want to be safe or not to worry about anything. Um, so we get the flyer ID or operator ID wherein you have to take the test and then they give you, uh, they give you operator, operator ID number. Let's see. Okay. We open this. The battery is inside that's the battery that's it i'm gonna charge it later okay and that's it you can see that's the drone later we're gonna fly it or maybe not later because i need to charge them first I need to put the memory card. There's still a lot to do before you can fly this drone. You have to install an app on your phone. You have to register from DJI. You have to update the firmware. The firmware, a lot. Um, but once it's done, you know, every now and then you're ready to fly. But I don't know when do I get it. So this is my memory card. 128 gig. I'll put it inside the drone there in that slot and then press it and it's locked okay okay let's close this first I want to protect it so last out first in okay and then inside oh And then better guards. <laughs> I didn't see. How do you put the propeller guards? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. There you go. <laughs> to know, I think I should get used to holding it without getting nervous. I just traumatized when I saw one drone, a new drone just got damaged. Okay. This one here. I'll put my memory card adapter there. <laughs> so this is the charging hub with three batteries. So I have to charge them. And then we'll see. So each battery can be used for 30 minutes. 
so if only I only have one battery I can only fly my drone for 30 minutes but if you get the fly mode combo you have two extra batteries so an hour and a half of flying the drone is good enough why in London because it's very crowded lots of buildings lots of people you can't really fly a drone happily you know you have to worry about people's privacy and most people get upset if you fly a drone near them so for us to be able to fly a drone we have to go to the countryside in the mountains in the hills in the fields open park open fields you know no airports lots of requirements so that means we are traveling we have to travel an hour and a half five hours for a very good location to the mountains that means to the hills you know an hour and a half possible so to have three batteries will be a big help that means the journey is worth it because you get to capture beautiful videos and photos and you can take your time and enjoy flying your drone to be honest i don't know if this would be a help but i just want to savor the moment of opening or unboxing my first drone um i'm not owning a car but i have something that i can drive that means i'm a pilot for this mavic mini 2 drone and i will name it b6 yeah from b1 i am b1 and owning a b6 b2 b3 b4 b5 that's different b3 is the mavic mini and b4 and b5 is the pro so let's see next time i'll show you my first flight or maybe you'll see my videos already okay thanks for watching and um, stay happy and do what you love doing life is too short make people happy make the people you love happy and make sure you're happy too you know be grateful in every little thing that we are blessed with and um, yeah just do the right thing and make sure that we make a difference in somebody else's life thank you and um, be blessed everybody and be well all the best till next time